Welcome to App Judgment. I'm Mauricio Balvanera. And I'm Chris Jennings. So Chris, um, I've noticed recently that a lot of companies are trying to take over RSS readers' job in a sort of smart social way, right? Yeah, the traditional RSS reader has kind of gone away. Right. I feel like it's not enough to just be a traditional reader. You have to make it more visually appealing. You yeah. have to make it easier to share with your social networks. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people are trying to do that right now. And just backing up to explain what an RSS reader is, mm -hmm. it's just this uh, basically the client that takes all your favorite websites and funnels it to you. Uh, whenever a new post is done. Exactly. So uh, there's a great new mobile app for Android. It's an Android show, woo! Android, all the way. That's right, called Flood. Tell me about Flood. Flood, yes, not pronounced flood, flood. as much as you'd like no, to. Not an Ikea. F-L-U-D. <laughs> not an Ikea not, product? No, no okay. Ikea, no. But Flood is basically a hybrid newsreader social media app. It takes a lot of those functionality we were talking about with your news from an RSS feed, but makes it more visually appealing. Yeah. So what they're trying to do is create your own news personality. Mm. It's a term that they're using. Just uh, an aggregate of all the topics that you find interesting right. and just kind of putting it into a personality. Like, all right, for instance, I'm into technology and music and games, mm -hmm. and that sort of crafts a personality around you as a user. And they have it set up real nice as, as soon as you sign in that you kind of select what your personality is yes. and it starts sort of shaping the news feed that you right. get. Right, it cultivates an experience that's unique for each user, which Absolutely. I think is the goal here. Mm -hmm. And once you have that, then you can integrate the social aspect of it, and you have people following you, and you can yep. share stories, and it's sort of like what we've seen with things like Pulse and uh, News 360, mm -hmm. making a visual appealing app, but they are adding more social aspects to it. Right, so and Pulse, beautiful app. Mm -hmm. Flood, beautiful -er, er er Oh yeah. <laughs> it's, they did a really nice job with this. Um, and you're right, it is sort of a, a much smarter way of dealing with it. Pulse just kind of gives you the data and you, you get to it any way you want. Mm -hmm. um, but they do a really good job of, of sort of shaping that, that personality that you want. But they also are um, give you access to your Google feed mm -hmm. if you do have an existing, like I do, a yeah, huge existing feed of information that you regularly check. Mm -hmm. So they've done a pretty good job of integrating that. Yeah, it's great with that. And like I said, when you have people that you are following, it'll integrate, you know, when you first set it up, your Facebook friends, your Twitter followers that are using it, so you have that connection there. So if you know you have a friend who has similar interests to you, mm -hmm. it may be in your best interest to follow them because you're going to be interested in the same stories that they are flooding, as it's called. I get it. I see what they did there. Yeah, they're, so they're flooding you with yeah, their stories. I see. I see. All right. Well, let's go over uh, some pros and cons here. Okay. Um, number one, uh, first and foremost, as soon as you open it, it's gorgeous. It's, it's gorgeous really good app. looking. Yeah. yeah. I, they use large photos. It's really just simple to navigate through. It's a, a joy to look at. It's, you're not going through a lot of text. It's right. very heavy on the visuals. Mm -hmm. uh, they really do a good job of uh, with the sharing options. That's always been an important feature in my RSS mm -hmm. reader. I want to be able to share it to the Twitters, the Facebooks, or whatever other functionality. Yeah. Whatever other social network I want yeah, to go to. Yeah, it's important. Yep. Uh, it's good for discovering new sources. Whether you have that friend that you didn't realize was also into some obscure blog that right. you also read, and right. they post something and you realize that. So that's always good to discover new places to get your information. Right. Now, on the con side of things, speaking of friends, yeah. not a lot of friends out there. Come on, guys, get on there. In so, Flood, we don't have that many friends. No. Right so one of the problems in a, in a sort of, I guess you can sort of call this a social network, because mm -hmm. the service is going to get better with more users, yeah. but it needs to get that critical mass. We've talked about this with the new, new starting social networks. It needs that critical mass for it to be a good functioning app. Yeah. It's not there yet. Yeah, people aren't going to use it if their friends aren't using it. That's exactly. sort of the bottom line. It's cool to be an early adopter. It's great to jump on these things, but until, like you said, it hits that tipping point where you know there are at least enough people to support it, mm -hmm. it just doesn't really take off. Right. Um, another con, I know we just talked about how awesome it is to share things. Um, kind of wish it had a little bit more sharing options. Yeah, yeah it could use more sharing options, because then it, it brings up the question, why should I be using this instead of just posting something on Twitter, on Facebook to share it? Like, why would I do this? If my friends aren't using it, and it doesn't integrate any other type of sharing, it's a hard sell. Right, Yeah. right. And finally, um, guys, where's the tablet version? Yeah, this is interesting, because on their official page, they say in big bold at the top on the Google Play Store, they say this is a phone version only, tablet version coming soon. Right. Which makes me think that they really have something cool up their sleeves if they're promoting it like this. Mm -hmm. Although, I did install it on my tablet, and it looked identical to the phone, which... Just bigger? Yeah, bigger. I mean, it wasn't a bad experience. It looked really good. But okay. they're saying it's not an official tablet app yet. Okay. So I think that this tablet app could be cool if they're sort of promoting it now, but it's not out yet. 
All right, well, not to knock it too much because we still think this is a... It's a download. It's a download, and then wait for your friends to use it. But download it now, and I think there's a good chance that a lot of people will get in on this service, so get on it now, and I think you'll have some friends using it shortly. Okay? Yeah. Let us know what you think. Uh, let us know at appjudgmenteveryvision3.com. Hit us up on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Crosswalk, and on Flood. Yeah, just flood us with all the social <laughs> networks. See you guys next time.